Caterina, sforza! I know you're in there. I have something you may want back. Are you missing any children? And Ezio Auditore. What a pleasant surprise. I take it you would be the Orsi brothers. Ludovico. And Keiko. At your service. Basta! Where are my children? Let them go! Of course, signora. We'll happily give them back for something of yours. A certain map. And a certain apple, brother. See, si, a certain apple indeed. Or shall I slice your baby's necks ear to ear? Bastardi! You think you can threaten me? I'll give you nothing! You want my children? Take them! I have the instrument to make more! When you change your mind, they'll be in the village outside the city! You have one hour! <sighs> Katerina, no. I can't ask you to sacrifice your children. Nobody's sacrificing anything. Go get them back for me, Ezio. See, si. you have my word. The apple needs to remain in the citadel. Keep this safe. Gecko and Ludovico Orsi. Bored with their leisurely life in the countryside, the Orsi brothers decided to spice things up a little. They started a money-lending business that was extremely successful, mostly because they killed anyone who didn't pay them back. Then, Caterina Sforza hired them to murder her Templar husband, Girolamo Riario, which they did in true cavalier fashion. They rode up to his palace, waltzed into the dining room, stabbed him in the chest, ransacked the estate, and left his naked body in the center of town. According to Abstergo's files, Rodrigo Borgia, after escaping from Venice, offered to pay them for the recapture of the Peace of Eden. And, of course, Caterina's head. It was the Orsi brothers' idea to kidnap her children. I ask you, what has this world come to when the rich go so bad? Very, very serious. Ca 
a fool to send you. Or are you the fool, dying for a handful of change? Was it worth it? More than you know, the maestro gains his price because of me. Mori col tuo orgoglio, per quanto vale. Reguiescat in pace. Signore!
Care for all. need to be shy. That's better for now. But prevention is the best cure, I always say. Right! What are you doing out here? I'm so sorry. What happened? It was a trick to lower our defenses. As soon as you left, they attacked again. Keko Orsi, he has the apple. What? No! Where is he? We chased him out here. But the bastards escaped into the mountains. I'm going. Would you like to go? Rope? Act? Betsy hey, didn't... He can't outrun us! You should be out here! No. Don't! Not I'm your proudest it. moment, I'd imagine. What? Come back here! So... You have your prize again. Was it worth it? So much bloodshed. <coughs> A prize of such value. It will not be yours for long. 
We shall see. Che miseria nascono dalla vidità. Requiescat in pace. Don't. Who are you? Stop. Don't open it. God, you're back with us. Are you all right? What happened to you? I... I don't know. One of my guards had the luck to find you in the hills, next to Kekko Orsi's dead body. See... That I remember. Wait... There was a third man. He took the apple. Who? He wore a black robe, like a monk. And I think... A missing finger... See, Katerina, I have to go, right away. Of course. Then you will need this, Ezra. The map Nicolo spoke of. Your husband. Ex-husband, mio caro. He swore he'd uncovered the locations of all the Codex pages. You will recover the apple, but you will never find the vault without this. You know, there is an abbey in the wetlands near here, where I've seen monks wearing black robes. I'd start there. Now go. Find us a stramaladetto monk. I think I'm going to miss you, Katarina. Oh, I know you will. <laughs> 